Hello, welcome to Biotanomy. Translation in eukaryotes. Since the overall mechanism of protein synthesis in eukaryotes is the same as in prokaryotes, I suggest you watch the video about prokaryotic transcription using the link given in the description box and also in the icon above. The translation in eukaryotes has some differences from the prokaryotic translation process, which begins with the sedimentation coefficient of the ribosome. Stage 1. Initiation. Begins with the formation of a 43S pre-initiation complex, which is formed by binding of eukaryotic initiation factor 1, eukaryotic initiation factor 1A, eukaryotic initiation factor 3, and eukaryotic initiation factor 5 to 40S ribosome. It prevents the binding of the 60S ribosomal subunit. Eukaryotic initiation factor 2, with the help of GTP, will escort tRNA to the 40S ribosomal subunit to complete the formation of the 43S pre-initiation complex. Meanwhile, the mRNA is prepared for the recognition of small subunits. It begins by recognition of the 5-cap by the cap-binding protein eukaryotic initiation factor 4E along with several additional factors like eukaryotic initiation factor 4G, which binds to both mRNA and EIF4E. Eukaryotic initiation factor 4A will bind to EIF4G and mRNA. The complex will be joined by eukaryotic initiation factor 4B, which will activate the RNA helicase activity of EIF4A, which will unwind any secondary structure on mRNA. The eukaryotic initiation factor 4E will bind to the 5-cap on the mRNA. Eukaryotic initiation factor 4G will interact with the poly binding protein on the poly A tail. The eukaryotic initiation factor 4A is an ADP-dependent RNA helicase that unwinds any secondary structure in the mRNA, which helps it to prepare for translation. The 43S pre-initiation complex will now bind with the mRNA to form the 48S pre-initiation complex. The cap-binding complex will now move among the mRNA until it locates the initiation codon, AUG. The initiation codon in eukaryotes is known as COSAC consensus, the sequence read as 5-ACCAUGG3- once the complex detects the initiation complex, the 60S ribosomal complex will bind to the 40S ribosomal complex to form the 80S ribosomal complex. With the hydrolysis of GTP, it leads to the release of several initiation factors. Stage 2. Elongation. Eukaryotic elongation factors will help in the elongation process. Namely, eukaryotic elongation factor 1A, eukaryotic elongation factor 1B, and eukaryotic elongation factor 2, which have functions similar to the prokaryotic elongation factors, EF, TU, EF, TS, and EF, G. During elongation, the ADS ribosomal complex will be positioned with mRNA in such a way that it can read the next codon. The initiator tRNA will now occupy the P site of the ribosome, and the corresponding amino acyl tRNA to the next codon will be positioned in the A site of the ribosomes. The peptide bond will be formed between the two amino acids with the help of the enzyme peptidyl transferase, which is integrated into the 50S ribosomal subunit. In eukaryotes, the deacetylated tRNA in the P site seems to be directly ejected from tRNA. Stage 3. Termination. Similar to prokaryotes, the termination in eukaryotes is carried out with the help of eukaryotic release factors, ERF1 and ERF3. The eukaryotic release factor 1, with the help of GTP, can recognize all three termination codons UAA, UAG, and UGA that are seen in the eukaryotes. The eukaryotic termination factor 3 will help in the termination. Upon termination, the ribosome will be disassembled and released with a new polypeptide formed. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and share. See you again in a new topic.